if you're one of the one million people diagnosed with cancer this year, how would you fight the disease? Some people do win the fight. The doctors can't say why some patients manage to rid their bodies of cancer, but many believe it takes more than medicine. In this special report, Como's Molly Shen shows us a unique struggle against a killer disease. <laughs> Come and get it. When you meet Don and Sharon Phipps, you want to go to Tulsa with mom? A few things are obvious. You want to grab your shaving kit? Is everything in it? Sharon is the organizer. The kids got it for me. Look here. Don is the jokester. Been there, done that, can't remember. <laughs> and they make a good team. We're all set. Off and running. Off and running. Those words are too true. Announcing the arrival of United Airlines Flight 1783. The next day, the Phipps are in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They make monthly trips for Don's liver cancer treatment. This center is staffed with experts in traditional therapy, and any cancer patient can relate to the whirlwind of tests, treatments, and emotions. It gives you a whole different outlook on life. A whole different outlook. And you, I'll tell you, life it really gets precious to you once they diagnose you with cancer. Don will spend the next six hours hooked up to chemotherapy. He believes it helps, but he also needs more. To live. Don crosses the country because this center takes treatment a step further, combining medicine with spirituality. It's a holistic approach, bringing the mind, the body, and the spirit together for an all-out attack on a killer disease. Medicine is a practice. It's a science. It's a practice. It's not perfected and that um, you, you need to treat the whole person emotionally, physically, spiritually, um, and then if you're only doing one part, you're not being a, totally effective for that person. Don's treatment center sits on the edge of the campus at Oral Roberts University. The staff and patients are mostly Christian, though all faiths are welcome. But Don and Sharon come for more than medicine and prayer. A bean supper will be held on Tuesday evening in a church hall. Music will follow. <laughs> Here, jokes and laughter <laughs> are also part of the treatment. This is all about your immune system. Jerry Ellison heads up the Cancer Center's Mind and Body program. The goal is to make people feel better emotionally. <laughs> There's no question her classes help people cope. She says they also help people heal. They buried the bishop the next day. <laughs> there is some research out there that suggests that how you think impacts your physiology um, and specifically influences your immune system, and, and that's kind of what this is all about. Breathe in, hold your breath. With that arsenal of treatments, Don is ready for the telling time of his visit, the CAT scan. As the images from inside his body flash on a screen, Sharon is hopeful. She thinks the tumor shrunk. You want to see a picture? Yes, sir. The Phipps uh, turn to their doctor for confirmation. What we're doing. Are they good, bad, or indifferent, or have you looked at them already? We need, we need to change your treatment a little bit, but I'll, I'll show you your pictures and we'll talk about it a little bit. Okay. 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 You're staying just about stable. Mm -hmm. In four weeks, Dr. Brunk wants to direct the chemotherapy straight into Don's liver. He'll be bedridden for days. That's more serious than I wanted to be with you this afternoon, but that's fine. Okay, doctor. Thank you. Okay. Well, not good, but it's not bad. I'm going to need her from that week from bedroom. This is no time to quit on a tumor that refuses to go away. You know, he said I was in check, but I was I was disappointed. I was really hoping that it would be shrinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be, sweetheart. I know, I know, but still, you know, I I just want it to be gone. It'll be okay. You have to have faith in that, sweetheart. I, know that. I do. I okay. Do. Sometimes even faith needs a boost. Just a moment with the center's pastor. But Lord God, when, when we have done all that we can do, and as we are faithful in that, then we look to you to do what only you can do. 
the long days in Tulsa are too often filled with the notion death could be near. But even after long days, there is still hope. I know it's going to help. I know in my mind it's, it's going to knock the dickens out of this cancer. When Don was first diagnosed with cancer, he was told he had anywhere from six months to a year to live. That was two years ago. He knows he might not beat the disease, but he believes the combination of traditional chemotherapy, spirituality, and laughter has helped keep him alive this long. Some very courageous people yeah. to share those very, moments yeah, with us Yeah, we appreciated like their openness. Are there any hospitals in the Northwest that are doing anything like this? Not quite to the same extent that the center in Tulsa is, but there are several local hospitals with spirituality awareness programs. They also believe that there is an important link between faith and healing, and we have put information about them on our tip line for you. you can call one TV tips Como and then press five. Be sure to have a pen and paper because there are quite a few phone numbers on there to help people. What a neat couple. How's he doing now since you shot that? He's had that chemotherapy? He's had that more um, radical treatment and has come back and it, it made him pretty sick. It was some pretty intense chemotherapy. He goes back in just a couple weeks and they'll find out then how that treatment worked. Mm -hmm. Let, Let us know. And so we'll find out. Yeah, Thank, we'll thank you. you.